was thinking here we could have like the welcome desk. Mm -hmm. And then over there, someone from Citizens Advice. Mm -hmm. And then this corner, just have like supplies and maybe some soft seating for people who want to be a bit more comfy. Yeah. And then just have like the main area for classes and events and stuff. Right. Really? Sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Just need to get them to sign off on it all now. Well, they will. They have to. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go and speak to me near at three. Oh, sorry. Oh. So, when is this superstar arriving? Straight from the RSC, is she? Oh, darling. People like me do this for free. And I am very grateful. But you think I need coaching? You are my leading lady, and I have every confidence in you. But sometimes it helps to get someone from outside the group to have a look. Outside the circle of trust. You shouldn't be threatened. Yeah. Nigel's been raving about this actress. She's hugely talented, but all she wants to do is to bring her vision to the team. Nice of you to say so. Martha. <laughs> she clearly knows it. Yes, but is it romantically or professionally? Well, I'm not aware of Ken's theatrical career. Oh, that's it then. It was romance. I had no idea. Why should you? I mean, to be completely clear, I am here for Nigel. <laughs> to help, if I can, get this show back on the road. But I feel that maybe we should talk. Martha is here to work, not to talk. You must be Mary. Uh, I, I must, yes. <laughs> Let's get to work. Let's start with voice projection. I think you'll find I have excellent voice projection. Mother was practically stone deaf. I've always had to project. Well, that's in a domestic situation. This is for the stage. It's totally different. I'm not so sure. Mother was a tough audience. Let's do some breathing. Give me a couple of deep breaths. You're breathing in your chest. What we need is you to breathe down into your diaphragm. We can go deeper. Deeper? Deeper. Deeper. I will admit to being apprehensive when Nigel suggested that you might be able to help me with my performance, but I was wrong. Your breathing techniques have made me feel so much more powerful and in control. Oh, well, it's very basic. If you don't breathe, you die. <laughs> Please tell me you don't have to run off on some other theatrical mercy mission. For you, I have time. I have to ask. There's a rumour that you were first choice to play the character of DCI Jane Tennyson. You were the original prime suspect? Not true. I was aware that there was a casting, but I was already committed to play Nina in The Seagull at Chichester. Mm. One sliding door moment. I mean, Dame Helen could have been Dame Martha. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And you two know each other? We were just good friends a long time ago. Oh, uh, Jenny's just gone into the back to get some more change. So we were just friends? I'm sorry about that, but I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. Me uncomfortable? Why would I be uncomfortable? You were the one that behaved abominably. Uh, I apologise for that, but I didn't think you wanted me to tell the whole world I'd broken your heart. You really take the biscuit when it comes to arrogance, don't you? You didn't break my heart. You disappointed me. You were a tiny, insignificant episode. A mere footnote, nothing more. He thinks the lady doth protest too much. I've had enough of this. You can tell your friends whatever fantasy you like. I am done with this whole charade. Where's Martha gone? 
not sure. What did you say to him? I think I may have misjudged the situation. Well, what does that mean? We used to be an item many years ago. Oh, I knew it. The relationship ended badly, and I think I may have inadvertently upset her again. She is coming back. I fear not. We need her help. You've got to get her back. What can I do? Apologize. Peg, use your imagination. If we lose Martha, this show does not go on. You broke it. You fix it. <laughs>